Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing a reading now for September 18th through the 24th. This is intended to be a love reading. This um, may or may not resonate with each of you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. September 18th through the 24th, weekly love reading for Pisces. If you like the reading and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you want to get a notification every time I upload a video, you hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, just hit the subscribe and you won't get the notifications. You can come back whenever you want, easily. Pisces, September 18th to the 24th, the three decks that were in the middle, I have pre-shuffled for you three times with the bridge each deck. Justice, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, The Fool, Seven of Swords, a lot of seven, 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 seven. Seven is the number from heaven. It's about faith. It's also one of God's numbers, so seven is from heaven. Just keep that in mind. We have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Magician, King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, Death, and the Hanged Man. Okay, I'm going to make sure this is zoomed in correctly. Looks pretty good. Okay, the first card is the Justice card. That's about doing the right thing. Okay, the Justice is also a Karma card. Okay, so it's about doing the right thing. We have the Ace of Swords right below it. It's about clarity to do the right thing. It's about um, making a just decision, you know, something that is very just. It's about honesty. Again, next to that Ace of Swords, if something comes up this week, the best advice I have for you is to be honest, okay, with these two cards right next to each other. Because if you don't, it's just going to cause tension, because this is tension and conflict right here. Um, I do see some communication, perhaps there's some collaboration between you and somebody. Um, it looks like there's some um, envisioning of something, perhaps you've been dreaming about something and you've been waiting for it to come to fruition could be um, have to do with finances or job this is intended to be a love reading but I have to say what comes up I do see you focusing on yourself quite a bit um, being very grateful for all that you have um, living in life's little luxuries just being completely content and happy and stable and secure with who you are you know and you may be sacrificing a love life for your career or your job or just Maybe you don't even really care about love. I mean, because right here, this guy is just resisting something, okay? But there's a lot of uh, financial gain, all right, or comfort here. Um, I see that, yeah, you, you just, here we have the, the Seven of Cups. I don't know if I've told you this. I've told a lot of my other signs. Be careful what you own because it owns you. This says think twice. Think twice about any decisions you are about to make. Hold on. Hold on, what do you want? You want love or do you want the material things that are in the cups? What's 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 it worth to you? You know, so just be careful what you wish for, be careful what you go for, be careful what you focus on, think twice. Alright. We have this awareness here, the magician card. The magician card as above, so below. This is oneness. This is also power in action. This is about um being one with the universe it's manifestation it's shedding the old okay it's um it's about becoming who you are evolving okay you also have a divine connection when the when the uh, magician comes up you are very divinely connected with with the universe okay 
um, that came up in your reading this week. So you must have a deep spiritual connection with the universe. I think you do anyway, okay? Um, I see that you're starting a new journey, or you may have already started the journey because we have the fool up there. The fool says that it's time to take a risk. Perhaps you're thinking about doing something more challenging, but it's scary. The fear, fear of the unknown is big. You know, when the fool card comes out, it says, and it's right next to the magician, it says that you have all the tools for success. The fool's also a very spiritual card as well. He's starting a new spiritual journey or a new journey period. So I think that you are, if you have some new creative idea that is, you know, that you are afraid of, with these two cards right here, this is do it, okay? Do it, because you have all the resources for, to succeed. The magician is great success, okay? Um, I do see that there's some deceit here. You know, I don't know what, who that is, if that's you or somebody else, but with that Seven of Swords up there, something isn't as it seems, but you're fully aware of it because your awareness is so big. So I think there's something going on behind the scenes, and you know it. You know, there's some kind of trickery. Maybe somebody's trying to sabotage you or somebody's trying to get your money or who knows. But it seems like because it's next to this King of Pentacles, you know, maybe somebody doesn't want you to succeed or whatnot. But, you know, somebody is, maybe they're jealous of you. There could be some jealousy. Um, I see that you are very successful or that you are going to be very successful. And this week seems to be about financial success. For you I don't see a lot of love right here it's financial all right I see that you take time to um, plan I think that you're planning things and just going with the flow all right the, with the death card this is the new jerk underneath the fool pretty much I mean okay this is a new transformation it's a new journey it's been one thing ends and another thing begins so you know, you're dreaming about something, and I'm not sure what it is. You're dreaming about something, and you just, you're trying to come up with a plan, I think, for the future, a lot of you. You're con uh, financially coming up with a new creative project, and I think that you're going to do it. I think you have a little bit of fear, but I think you're going to do it, and that's your new start right here. Maybe it's the end of, of, of fear, fearing the unknown. Okay, and maybe you, this, this transformation, I mean, you have resistance right underneath it, resisting a change. Maybe you're, um, hmm, this is supposed to be a love reading. Let's see what else we can get. I see you being very successful financially. You know, if you're a business owner or in a career, I see you as being a leader type of material, um, being very highly respected. What do you got for love for Pisces? What about, what do we have for love? Damn it all, it's just the same deck, and I want to do that one. What do we have for love? You know, you don't want to, you may be sacrificing love for work because this is a sacrifice and this is be careful what you choose. If you choose to focus all your time on work or your to gain possessions or material things, then that's why there's no love here. So just be careful. If that's what you want, then great, fine. But if that's not what you want, then maybe you need to think twice about where you're focusing your energy. King of Cups, that's you. So we do have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra. We have Scorpio again. Um, we have Gemini. We have the Magician again. Very successful. 
very successful. You're headed, I mean, this week is a successful week for you. Congratulations. You're, you've got a lot of peace in your life. There's not a lot of chaos. Things look really good. You're mastering your emotions. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Seven of Cups, be careful though. We have this card twice. When the Seven of Cups, be, be careful. What you own owns you. I mean, if the job is that if that's what you want, then great. But if you want love, you have to put more time and focus into love. I mean, some of you want love. A lot of you right now for Pisces are really focusing on the job and, and happy with that, like this card says. And that's fine. That's good. I mean, if that's what you want. This right here is new love, though. This is a new message of love. And you're... So a lot of you are really wanting love. And that's the transformation underneath it. You may, and that's why love is coming up, but it's in the background because I think a lot of you in the background are thinking about love, but it's in the background. So I think that um, you're thinking about a change. You're thinking about this love now. It's, it's moving up from the background. You've been resisting love by focusing on your your work and your finances, sacrificing love for for the other, you know. That's what I see. Because you're just working on your successful financial foundation. It's very important to you. We have the seven of cups here twice because it's about choices. You have so many sevens. Sevens are about faith. Okay? So seven must be a lot of your number too. You guys, if you have a lucky number, maybe it's seven. Change is on the horizon, two of coins. This is about making a change. Right next to the love and the death card. I think you're really thinking this week more about love than you have in the past. So you're thinking about it and, and maybe you're starting to become more aware that you know, I, I, I might want some love here. I might want to give some time to some love. We're going to the future now. These are the future cards. I think that things are start finally starting to come to fruition for you. That your ships are coming in and you're starting to become more balanced. Not that you weren't, because I think that you're very balanced anyway. But you're starting to see some progress in something that you had started. This is the future. This, this is my after tarot deck. Ooh. Oh, your heart's been hurt. Everybody's has. Ooh, there's a sexual energy, uh, attraction to somebody, and perhaps one becomes two. Yeah, yeah, this is the future now. This isn't happening yet. Perhaps you decide to accept some love. And the other deck, you know, he's now he's got it in his hand and he's sharing it with the world. Okay? And the other, so I'm thinking that maybe you're in the future that you're, maybe it could be four months from now, could be four years from now. All right? But this is accepting the love, finally. Okay? And becoming, becoming two instead of one. This is perseverance. You know, after you've learned all these little lessons or they're, won all these little battles or accomplished all these things now you can finally let it in this is an exciting energy it's kind of impulsive where all of a sudden you like change you know and i don't see you doing that quickly but that's what this energy is because i, I think that you've definitely been hurt now this is the future so maybe This is crying over spilt milk. So it's crying over a loss, moping, and maybe you start to see that there's other options. Because here, the, you're just focusing on what's been lost, and finally in the future, you must decide that there's another option. And maybe you're thinking about somebody from the past, because this is reminiscing about the past. Could be somebody from your childhood, could be somebody you dated before, and I see you dreaming up there. So you may be dreaming about somebody from the past quite often, daydreaming or night dreaming. Okay? Maybe you decide to offer them some, some love. Okay? I do see that your heart is healing. Very good. Great. Okay, and you get through that healing period by focusing on your work. It's like, you know what, I don't even care about this heart bullshit. I'm going to focus on my work. 
but you do have some sexual impulses here that might, you know, push you towards looking for a partner if you're single or if you're with somebody might, you know, you might have this. This is the future where you're like, okay, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. So, you know, that's what I see. That's what I have for Pis for you this week, Pisces. It looks like, again, you're focusing on work. Um, and I think your awareness is very, very high. I think you're very successful. Um, yeah, I think it's just a successful week. Financially, 